Spring this year is full of surprises, not the least of which is staying indoors day in and day out. Today was a rainy day, no surprise. But as Mike Stevens shows us in the PhotoLink library, we did get a snowy surprise over the weekend. So there we were, living a good life, watching beautiful things pop out of the ground as Kristen Boyer of Watsontown did. Blossoms began popping up. Jennifer Mantell of Andreas found peach blossoms. Also worth noting, the bluebirds were back in town and eager to pose on Sonia Graybill's back deck. Yes, indeed, spring was shaping up nicely. One of the first signs of trouble, I suppose, was what Cynthia Rot of the media found in her garden. Frozen raindrops weighing down some daffodil blooms. And there it went. Robin Barker of Thompson offered us sure proof that there was a problem afoot. Six inches overnight. Heavy stuff, she wrote. Good for snowballs, but not for spring. Nothing stood in the way of the snow that came. Sherry Eastwood saw powdered sugar covering a tree already in blossom. A hyacinth now wearing a white cap. Mark Boyles of Williamsport sent this image. A forsythia blossom desperate for some sun. This is from Terry Chapman of Ulster in Bradford County. From South Ebbington Township, Sybil Karras sent a look at some daffodils and their unexpected blanket. There were a few things the snow made even nicer. A garden angel in Monica Von Sickle's place in Seelands Grove. Something of a snowy postcard scene at 7th and Huron Streets in Renovo. It's from David Wirtz of Renovo. A final image reflects on what spring ought to look like. Angela Musser labeled it a spring walk. We need more of these. Let's hope we'll see some. We'll see you next time in the Photo Link Library. I'm Mike Stevens.